trust you on. You're gonna survive. Alright, team. I need your help. Check this out. You know what the problem with you is? You're so damn interesting. Thank you. Let's get you home. Come on. <laughs> Tracker, part of CBS Premier Week after Super Bowl 58 on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. The Emmy-nominated Late Show with Stephen Colbert, weeknights on CBS. Hi, everybody. 2 o'clock here. Meteorologist Pat Cavlin checking in just to give you an idea of what we're looking at out there right now. No warnings at this point, but a very active radar. We've seen a lot of rain so far today. We'll take you up north first. got some pretty feisty storms pushing through Montgomery County right now. We've had some reports of uh, maybe some funnel clouds in the area or at least uh, some gusty winds. No warnings, though, and nothing confirmed at this point. But from Magnolia up through Conroe getting into the Maynard area. In fact, there is a feisty storm all kind of moving in this general northeast direction and these are moving fast as well. We're watching one feisty storm about to come into Lake Livingston right now. This is moving to the northeast at 55 miles per hour gets to Seven Oaks within the next 20 minutes and if it holds together Corrigan within the next 30 minutes. This is the area we're watching though south and west of the city because we've seen a few breaks in the clouds down there. We will talk more about this in the forecast for the rest of the day right now on KHOU.com. Otherwise, we'll see you at the top of the next hour. Part about it when it all right, we're still here, everybody. Meteorologist Pat Cavlin checking in with uh, just an updated look at what's going on with radar and the severe weather threat for today. Still watching a pretty strong storm here. This is coming out of the New Waverly area right now, pushing towards Lake Livingston, about to cross over. Maybe some gusty winds, maybe some small hail with this. And this thing is racing towards the East Tex Freeway, moving at about uh, 55 miles per hour towards the northeast. So arrives in Seven Oaks within the next 20 minutes, and then Corrigan as you get towards the bottom of the hour. Again, no uh, significant warnings or significant threats with this at the moment, uh, but we are watching the potential for, again, some gusty winds, some small hail. We do have a tornado watch that's been issued for the entire area, everyone except for Matagorda County. That goes until 9 p.m. as well. We'll talk more about that in just a minute, but this will be the area that we keep the closest eye on here from the city along the Katy Freeway and points south through the next few hours. And the reason for that is because as we switch over to satellite, notice the darker patches in here. That indicates areas of clearing where we're not seeing as much cloud coverage, and that's where the ground is starting to heat up a little bit more. So when you get that heating, that's more fuel for these storms, and that's more energy. So uh, things could pop off here as we go through, I would say, the next three or four hours. Now back to the west, that cold front is draped along a line from northern, I would say from Bryan College Station all the way back towards Gonzales. And you could see here on the tail end of this line, a really intense thunderstorm here. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for this storm. This is outside of our area right now, but it is paralleling I-10. And it should be here, I would say, within the next two hours if this particular cell holds together. Overall, though, the line is expected to hold together and probably gain intensity as it gets a little bit closer. So it's moving in our direction at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. So as this line starts to get closer, I would expect it towards Brenham, probably within the next 15 minutes, the leading edge here. Nothing severe, though, at this point. Navasota towards the bottom of the hour. Katy, you won't see this until around the 4 o'clock hour, so we still have a couple of hours to go. And then as we get into Houston towards 4.30 and 5 o'clock, so this line coming in about uh, 20 to 30 minutes ahead of the schedule that we gave you this morning. But within this line, we're going to see the potential for damaging wind gusts for some very large hail, and also uh, we do have uh, the potential for some tornadoes. So here's a look at the severe weather risk as we go through the rest of the afternoon. The highest risk potential in that orange shading extending from southeast Texas all the way back to the Florida Panhandle. And notice how the risk really starts to increase once you get into southeast Texas. So the areas where that line is that I just showed you on radar, not really included in that severe risk, but things will likely ramp up with that line as it moves into our area. That's where we're expecting some of the greatest severe weather potential, again, including the potential for some tornadoes. So here's the timing as we take you through the rest of today for severe weather. We're expecting that potential to linger through about seven and eight o'clock. Really drops off though after eight. And as we get to the rest of the night, we're not expecting any severe weather. Once that front clears through, it's gonna turn a lot colder and breezier getting into tomorrow as well. So the next few hours are going to be key for us here uh, in Southeast Texas.
Let's see if I can pull up the uh, Tornado Watch for everyone, just so I can show you what I was talking about before. Uh, this was just issued by the National Weather Service uh, at the top of the hour, or just a few minutes before, around 1.40 is when they issued this. Uh, and here's the latest on it. They are expecting a few tornadoes within the whole watch. Remember, this watch extends going out towards, um, going out towards Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. And we could also see some damage in wind gusts, again, with that squall line moving in. So these are the threats that we're keeping track of with this tornado watch. It's in effect till 9 p.m. Not going to be in effect till 9 p.m. for our area. Again, this includes the whole thing going to Louisiana. They'll probably shave it away as that line pushes through. Should be totally gone, I would say, by 7 o'clock. But it includes everyone except for Matagorda County here. That's the only spot that we don't see included in this tornado watch. And we could see some large hail as that line approaches and pushes through our area. Let's get you over to radar real quick. We'll do one more sweep here and then we'll let you go. A couple downpours and, uh, and even a few rumbles of thunder south of the city. The most of the activity though has been on the north side so far from spring going up towards Conroe. Got a thunderstorm there. Not a ton of lightning with these storms, but a tremendous amount of rainfall. And then again, bigger storms coming out of New Waverly, all kind of moving up in this northeast direction at about 55 miles per hour. Two cells now uh, with the... Um, with uh, we're watching the potential for being stronger. So that first one coming out of New Waverly, that expected to reach uh, the East Tex Freeway within the next 20 to 30 minutes. And then the second one here just to the south should reach the Shepherd area, uh, getting into like the Seven Oaks area here, or well, Seven Oaks going up there, uh, probably within the next 20 to 30 minutes as well. These are very fast moving cells and the primary threats with both of these will be the potential for gusty winds and some small hail. But again, this is the area that we're watching from Katy out through uh, Pearland, uh, down to the south, Sugarland, Richmond, and then back towards Sealy. Notice these cells developing back here. This is the activity that we will have to keep a very close eye on ahead of our cold front that's expected to arrive here in the city of Houston by about four and five o'clock this evening. So again, tornado watch in effect means conditions are favorable for tornado development, but not likely, not guaranteed. What you need to do at home is just keep a very close eye on this forecast through, I would say, dinner time, and then we're good to go as we get into the overnight. We've got all hands on deck here at KHOU. We're going to keep you updated here as we go through the rest of the afternoon and evening. And Stuart, uh, just got in my ear. Can you tell me where that was for? Okay, so do we want to maybe... Okay, sure. So, uh, Kim, if you... There it is, tornado warning. So we've got a tornado warning now. Let's go back on air, and I'll wait until you tell me uh, that we're on, and we'll, we'll re-rack from there.